Well, a T-Mobile representative was in Chubbuck tonight making the case for a controversial cell phone tower. The phone giant wants to build it on the grounds of Chubbuck Elementary. Eyewitness News reporter Luke Jones is live at City Hall there in Chubbuck. Uh, Luke, what uh, is happening at the meeting? Well, Todd, that meeting literally just wrapped up a couple of minutes ago. People were just streaming out right now, and the decision, they voted to deny T-Mobile's application. Now, T-Mobile could still appeal that through the court system, but for now, it's not happening. Now, at tonight's meeting, T-Mobile finally revealed exactly where on the school grounds they plan to build this tower. It would be on the eastern fringe, pretty much near that playground, if you're familiar with the area at all. It presented a problem, though, because the Land Use Commission here here in Chubbuck had approved a conditional use permit, but one of the conditions was they'd have to build the tower at least 80 feet from any property lines and 80 feet from any playground. Of course, T-Mobile's plan violated that, so tonight T-Mobile was asking for a waiver. The shock value of putting a site at a school, um, just want you guys to understand how prevalent that is and how normal course of business it is as we try to reach residences. I mean, and at one of the reasons T-Mobile says it needed its cell tower so badly, this would have been the only cell tower T-Mobile has in Chubbuck. They say they've received thousands of complaints from people about spotty coverage here in Chubbuck, but the people who showed up here tonight to speak say they just didn't want a tower in their neighborhood. It's not a place for a tower of this type. This area is zoned R2, which is residential. I can see no reason whatsoever in having something like this in a residential area. Other concerns locals brought up tonight, the possibility of the tower somehow falling over. Well, at least one woman also mentioned radiation concerns. But again, the latest here, that application to build the cell tower was denied by city council. They could still appeal it, but they'll have to do that in federal court. Reporting live in Chubbuck tonight, I'm Luke Jones. Okay, Luke, thanks for the report.